another day of Lismas. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Today we're getting into my morning skincare routine as well as some true no makeup makeup. Like my routines have switched up a little bit. I've been trying a couple new products, a couple different techniques. So I'm kind of excited to share this entire like little mini process with you. So let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, so it's like one o'clock in the day, but this morning I had to like jump straight into emails, a couple of campaign edits. I had to post out a campaign. I did a bunch of stuff for the first half of this day. So I'm finally just getting into now being able to do my morning skincare routines, kind of actually start the rest of my day. I always like to start with skincare. Lately, I've been saving my hot showers for the nighttime. There's just something about showering off the day and just getting into bed and feeling really nice and extra clean and cozy and warm. So I'm not starting today with a shower. I am starting today with skincare. I've been playing a lot with my skincare routine because as you guys know, I have been battling a lot of acne as you can see from like all of these dark spots and stuff. A lot of it is hormonal acne, but I've also kind of been playing around with my diet a little bit. And so I've kind of figured out, I think the main culprit for a lot of my Acne is very devastating to me, but it's dairy. <laughs> so yeah, I've been trying to clean up my diet, but then also sort out and like balance out my skincare routine. So of course, first we gotta start with cleansing. I'm currently obsessed with this cleanser, especially for this time of year. This is Skin Fix. It's one of their Barrier Plus products, which means it is specifically formulated to really just feed and nourish and kind of replenish your skin's moisture barrier. Very, very important. You don't wanna mess that up or else your skin will be pissed. So it's a foaming oil cleanser and it's just hydrating, but also pretty deeply cleansing, I'd say. And so because a lot of my um, exfoliating products are like a toner and also other serums and stuff, like dark spot serums and everything, um, I like to start off with cleansing, but also surging my skin with moisture at the same time. Skin Fix is a recent addition to my skincare routine, but let me tell you, I am obsessed with their products. You can get them from Sephora and they're actually dermatologist recommended and everything. I just love the ingredients and everything and my skin has just been really, really loving the additional moisture, especially while it's colder outside for sure. Y'all know I have combination skin, but in the winter, my skin is like, please give it some moisture. I'm thirsty and these products have been doing it for me. Ooh, love it. And it never leaves my skin feeling like stripped or like thirsty or dying to put on the next product, you know? My skin is just like, ah, it feels great. So next, I'm gonna go in with my Youth to the People Exfoliating Solution. So the thing I love about this is that it is a gentle solution, but it still gets the job done at the same time, and it's also hydrating at the same time as well. So it has 3% AHAs, 2% BHAs, and then 1% PHAs, so those are all like the exfoliating thingies in there. And then it's also got superfoods in here with like, a couple hydrating elements. I just love this. I love, love, love this. So I kind of go in with this as like a toner after cleanser. I'm gonna sure to use these with my reusable cotton pads. Love these. I use them and then stick them in the washer. This is just my way of being a little bit more eco-conscious. I really actually love these. I'll link them below. Snag them from Amazon. If you have sensitive skin or you're just, you know, starting out with exfoliation, this is definitely a great exfoliation product to start out with just because again, it is still so gentle. It doesn't sting the skin at all. You can't really feel the exfoliation actually happening, but it works. It gets the job done without making your skin scream, basically. <laughs> I love you to the people. I really do. Their products are so good. And then next, we're going in with a dark spot serum. This also has vitamin C in there. Vitamin C is a great thing to use on your skin every single day. Basically for all skin types, keep it happy and healthy, but especially if you have hyperpigmentation or like dark spots like me, it will help to over time even out your skin tone. So this is actually a black owned dark spot serum by Edom. When it comes to dark spots in general, you just have to be patient. I would say I need to wait until I've been using this more consistently for like a month before I can actually say whether it works or not. What I will say is that it's not breaking me out, which is always a good sign. It feels good on the skin, and I feel like it might be working, especially like on this side. A lot of the stuff on this side of my face is new, like new acne spots and everything. These, I don't know if you guys can see right here, these are older and I feel like they're continuing to lighten. So, so far, so good. So yeah, this is one of the serums that I use every single day in my morning routine specifically. 
Alright, so while this is soaking into my skin, I then go in with my Shani Darden eye cream. This is my favorite eye cream of all time. Black owned and I love it. There are some eye creams that I've used before that have actually like made my eyelids burn a little bit, but this one is actually specifically formulated for both under your eye and over your eyelids as well because Honestly, in the winter, my eyelids begin dry. And so this gets me right, especially this time of year. And I also like using this as a preventative method. So I don't want to get wrinkles and dark spots and all that stuff underneath my eyes prematurely, you know? So it's kind of preventative and also just added moisture for me right now. I've actually had this for a long time. This has been lasting me a while. All right, and then next, today specifically, this is not necessarily something that I use every single day, but today I would like to use it it is the Dr. Dennis Gross Acne Eliminating Gel. I have one old bump like right here that's like, I don't know what it's doing. Why won't it go away? Like I keep squeezing it and then it like heals and then it just still feels like something's in there. Kind of the same thing for this little spot here. So I'm just gonna use this acne gel on top of both spots kind of fight and get them gone like go away leave me alone so I'm just really using this as a spot treatment um, it can be used all over the face kind of like a serum as well especially if you feel like you have a lot of active acne all over your face um, he also specifically formulated this for mask me as well so if you're struggling with that this is definitely a product that you want to check out so that dark spot serum and this acne gel are kind of more exfoliating products as well as the toner that we used so I like to finish up with a super nice like moisturizing product in order to feed back my moisture barrier for my skin to keep it happy and healthy even though we're doing all of this exfoliation. This right here has become one of my favorite moisturizers ever. It's so good, so delicious, so juicy. So this is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. I love it. It is pretty creamy, but I'm loving it for daytime especially during the colder months right now. <laughs> so good, it's so good. Like, look at that. Hmm. Even when it kind of like dries down and like soaks into the skin, my skin is always just left with this really nice, healthy, beautiful, like natural glow just because it's so happy and healthy. Even with, you know, a couple of my trouble acne spots, the rest of my skin, you cannot deny. She's healthy and she's popping. Like, look at this. So the last but certainly not least product is definitely a product that I use every single day even though it has been super cloudy this week as I'm filming this in Atlanta. It's been crazy. Like I have not seen the sun in a very long time. Um, but even though it's cloudy, I always go in with my sunscreen. This is my favorite sunscreen of all time. Every time I try out a new sunscreen, I always find my way back to this one. Y'all know I love my mineral sunscreens as opposed to chemical, at least for my face. And um, this one is SPF 50, it's great and whew, I love it. It also helps to protect against blue lights if you're on your screen a lot, which I am always, constantly. It really helps to protect your skin against all of that stuff in addition to all of the UVA, UVB rays from the sun. So it is great, 12 out of 10, recommend. It does have a little white cast, but if you just spend the extra couple of minutes really rubbing it in, it kind of sinks into the skin and goes away. That's the one trouble when it comes to mineral sunscreens is a white cast. But boom, that's it. That's my skincare routine. It's not super crazy. I feel like it's pretty simple. And I have just been loving all of these products for my skin lately so, so much. So let's go ahead and move over to the studio so we can get into this no makeup makeup. All right, so let's get into this. I am gonna start with my brows. That's usually what I start out with first. Where the heck is my brow pencil? Y'all, my, my studio is such a mess. I will show it to you in one of these Listmas videos, but oh my gosh, like why, why? So I'm grabbing my favorite brow pencil. This is the Sephora Collection brow pencil and currently I am wearing shade 08 Chocolate Brown. So I always just start off by brushing them upwards. You guys know I do a brow lamination now or if you don't know, now you know. So I'm actually coming up on the point where I need to get them laminated and I'm getting them laminated in a couple of days actually. It's something you gotta keep up with like on a monthly basis or so. I actually go every six weeks. So I literally just go in with hair like strokes and that's it very lightly and just filling in any sparse points in my eyebrow. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with some clear brow gel. This is the Kosas Air Brow Gel. Their brow gels are my favorite. 
absolute favorite. So I'm just gonna brush this through to freeze these brows into place and then we are done with the brows. Okay, now if you have dark spots, I need you to listen up because you're gonna love this little trick. It's really not even a trick. It's using concealer to conceal your dark spots, but I have the perfect concealer for it. And I basically do this every day. Whenever I wanna finesse and make it seem like I don't have dark spots, like this, this is my go-to trick right here, okay? So this is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I feel like you guys have probably seen me do this before, um, but this is the shade Caramel and it's like the perfect shade, okay? So I'm just taking this brush, this is the number 57 Sephora brush, obsessed with their brushes by the way, and literally just tap it right into my dark spots and they just disappear. So this is always like my first step, like, Dark spots where? I don't have dark spots, what are you talking about? Like talk about finessing the game. All right, so we're basically already halfway there, believe it or not. I like my little daily true no makeup makeup looks to be quick, easy, and very comfortable to wear. So we're gonna now dig into the Fenty Powder Foundation. This right here is gonna be a major key for this entire look and I tried something new yesterday that I'm gonna share with you guys now and that is using a lighter shade to act as like your brightener under your eyes and then you can use your regular foundation shade everywhere else and it's just going to give you this look like dang. Like it's just, this is amazing. So I'm just gonna take a beauty blender and this is a shade that's slightly too light for me so I typically wear all over my face, I'll wear 345 but this is shade 330 so just a little bit lighter and so I'm I'm just gonna rub my beauty blender in there just like that and all we're gonna do is pat this into the skin and honestly this isn't even that bright you can see it's kind of just like blending into my skin I really could go a couple shades lighter for this and I think I will actually snag some more Fenty powders in a much lighter shade. But the thing I love about this powder is obviously it has pigment because it is technically a foundation but it is still very lightweight on the skin. When you tap it on top of skin that is already dewy and just nice and moisturized, ooh, it's just gonna give the perfect combo and it's just gonna melt in and look like your skin. All right, so y'all see this difference? It's a massive difference without putting barely anything on your face. I am obsessed with this foundation. Like, oh, so I'm gonna basically use this shade all here, and then we're gonna use a slightly darker shade around like the perimeter. I used to just do kind of like one shade all over, but I'm really liking this for a little bit of added dimension, even on those light, no makeup makeup days, you know? It's just... It's just really nice. And this foundation is blurring, it's smoothing, so it actually looks like you've done a lot more to your face than you actually have, and I'm here for it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with 345, which is my regular shade. I'm actually gonna use a brush for this. This is the Airbrush Complexion Brush by It Cosmetics. Oh, it's number 115. It's like this angled brush that's really nice, especially for powder foundation. So I'm just gonna rub this in and kind of just tap it into the skin. Please excuse the state of my brows. Oh my gosh, they need to be done so bad. I cannot wait for my appointment in a couple days. So honestly, like I said, yes, I could definitely go a little bit lighter for a more brightening kind of effect, but It's pretty cute. So the next thing I'm gonna grab is blush. I don't ever like to go without blush, ever. Not even on a no makeup makeup day. This is the Patrick Ta like cream and powder blush duo. I'm just grabbing the powder blush today. It's in the shade Do We Know Her and I'm just kind of dipping my brush into the powder section. So pretty! And you know what I think I notice is happening actually because it's winter and my skin is like slowly getting lighter and lighter. I need like my winter shade versions of the Fenty Beauty Powder because usually it doesn't look like this on me. I'm gonna set my face. This is the Desi Do Me Over setting spray. It's so nice and of course whenever I'm doing this natural no makeup makeup I like to just have like a nice little natural dew going on so just gonna spray a little bit of this 
All right, see, it's coming together. Very, very simple, very, very easy. So one of my favorite mascaras at the moment is this Kosas, the Big Clean Mascara. It's so good. It's a clean mascara, but it is actually very lifting and it's just very, very pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and apply that. Okay, boom. So do you see it kind of coming together? We've got a little blush, more even skin, and now we just gotta do the lip and that's it. So I'm grabbing a lip liner that is literally like very much like the color of my natural lip line. So this is the Bare Minerals lip liner in the shade Attitude. Like see, it's, it's a brown, but it is very, very close to my natural lip line. Boom. So I've just kind of outlined the outside and literally on top, I'm just gonna smack this Kosas Wet Lip Oil. By the way, this lip oil is thebomb.com. So nice, so delicious, and it's actually very moisturizing on the lips. So I'm just gonna throw that on top, and that's it. So all we gotta do is now fluff and shape this hair, and then that's about to be it. This is day five hair, y'all, that I am absolutely loving. I just love the volume of it. It's the volume for me. I'm not too fussy with the frizz. I know it's got some frizzy spots and stuff, but I actually really like that. So boom, this is it. I feel like the hair kind of set off the look actually. <laughs> I'd also like to point out that we didn't even use a highlighter, but look at the way my skin is just glowing through the makeup. So yeah, this is basically my morning routine. It's not every single day that I am putting on makeup, but if it's a day where I just need to do something really light, this is my go-to right here. It's so light and genuinely, Feels like I have nothing on my face. Got the job done. Like I'm feeling cute. Yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And you know what? Make sure you tune in tomorrow because if you enjoyed this one, tomorrow I'm gonna be sharing a little get unready with me and sharing exactly what I do as my nighttime routine. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.